When bad things happen to us sometimes, we make ourselves believe that it's karma trying to pay us back for the wrong that we also did at some point. But do you think this is the case or it is just all in our imagination? Today we bring you a story of a lady that gave birth to a disabled child, but she believes that this happened to her because of what she did to her husband. By the time she gave birth, her husband was in prison. At this point, I don't know what you're thinking, but whatever it is, you have to listen to this story and know how all of this came about and why tears almost rolled down her eyes when she is talking about this. But what did she do to her husband and why is she living in regret? Well, this is her story. In the very beginning, she grew up as a normal and happy girl and everything was okay. Time came and she fell in love with a man, but as time went by, their love kept on elevating. And it was not long after then when they finally decided to get married. They got married and their wedding was one that was celebrated in the entire village. And that's when she left her parents' house and moved in with her husband with hope of starting a happy family. But this is not what really happened. Shortly after their marriage, the police arrested her husband and took him to jail for crimes he had committed. She and everyone else was shocked, but she stayed home with hope that sooner or later her husband was going to come back home. She waited for her husband for days, weeks, months, which later turned into years. And now she was confused and started losing hope of her man ever coming back home but she used to visit him in jail. I used to visit him in prison most of the time. He was fine, but again, so worried about me. Every time I went to see him, he always used to promise me that he was going to come back home. But as years went by, we all lost hope because things were not good for him, so had to sort myself out. She waited until she couldn't wait anymore. And after she had lost hope, she decided to get someone for herself. And that is when she started seeing another man. However, her husband in prison did not know anything about this. It was not long after then when she got pregnant. Now she stopped visiting her husband in prison because she knew that he would immediately notice that she was pregnant and she was not yet ready to tell him about what had happened. Shortly after she had given birth, her husband came back from prison, hoping to meet his wife and start a family with her. Since it was something that he had been looking forward to for a very long time. But when he got home, he was shocked by what he saw. He saw the baby. He looked at me and we got speechless for a couple of minutes. He told me that he can't live with me because I had chosen someone else over him. And he politely told me that he was going to find another woman too. Honestly, that broke me into pieces and really hurt me, but I think I deserved it. She gave birth to a normal baby, named her Esther. And everything seemed okay, but it wasn't. As Esther was growing up, she started showing signs for being disabled. The baby's head started getting bigger and bigger, but that was not all. It was about time for the child to start walking, but she didn't. When she was about five years old, this lady noticed that the child may never walk. 
She tried taking her to the hospital for treatment, but since she didn't have money, she couldn't afford treatment for long. Going to the hospital is also very hard for me because I have to carry my daughter everywhere I go, since we can't afford a wheelchair. My daughter is 25 years old today, and it is obvious that I have to be by her side to the very end. I work sometimes. I wash clothes for people do housework. I also dig for them. And I do all this in order to survive and get what to eat so that me and my daughter can survive since we don't have anyone else to give us a hand. Esther believes that her father abandoned them because she is disabled, and she thinks maybe he refused to be with them because they seemed like a burden to him. However, they see him around, though he never helps them with anything at all. Esther says that she feels bad when she sees other children going to school, and she can't. School is quite a distance from home, and since she can't walk, there is no way she can go to and from school each and every day. Life in his village is not easy for them, and because Esther crawls on the ground when she wants to move, which makes her life even more complicated, and the clothes she wears get so dirty to the extent that washing them is something that is not easy at all. Everyone in the neighborhood knows about this family and most of them are friends with Esther. They all hope that one day she gets a wheelchair because the way she moves makes her very uncomfortable. Let's hope the very best for Esther and her mother. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.